Good evening and welcome to our Jam Studios reopening briefing. I'm pleased to be joined today by our studio project specialist, Christian Fox, and our studio hygiene specialist, my mum. We are pleased that since closing our doors to the public on the 23rd of March, our students and their families have been well and enjoying their online sessions with us. We thank all of you for the incredible support you have given to all of us here. Your kind words and encouragement during this time have been greatly appreciated. I will now hand over to Chris to talk through the figures from the studio. Thank you. First slide, please. As you can see from the slide, in response to the guidance, the use of the studio started to fall in March, with the studio being closed to the public. Next slide, please. As a result of this, our online lessons surged to full capacity, and we thank you for your assistance with this. Following the recent easing of the lockdown restrictions, we will be reopening our studio to the public on Tuesday the 16th of June. Of course, this is subject to change based on any further government updates. We've been working closely with the local environmental health to adhere to all guidance and ensure the safety of our team and students. This has resulted in the preparation of a comprehensive risk assessment and also changes to how we will work within the studio. The first element of this is to keep the number of people in the studio as low as possible at all times. Due to current guidance stating that groups of people from different households cannot meet indoors, Recording studio and rehearsal spacing bookings will be unavailable until updates are made on this point. We will also be postponing all of our normal live events until further guidance. Our focus will firstly be to bring tutors and students back to the studio safely, while maintaining our online lesson option for students who wish to continue in that way for now. We'll achieve this through the following steps. For the first week, only staff that would work better from the studio due to equipment needs will be allowed to return, with other staff joining us on the following week. Students who were unable to do their lessons online will be the first to be welcomed back for physical lessons. All of our tutors and students will be required to wear masks when in the studio, save where it is not possible to play the instrument. To reduce the number of surfaces people come into contact with, we ask that all students bring their own guitars and drumsticks to lessons. This will help to save time for us to sanitise our instruments for students without an instrument. Any staff member feeling unwell with COVID symptoms will work from home and switch back to our online system for the period of isolation if they are well enough to do this. Any students suffering with symptoms should not attend the studio for lessons and should take their lesson online for the period of isolation if they are well enough to do so. Any tutor who becomes ill with symptoms will be asked to follow the stay at home guidance. Our use of the physical space in the studio will need to change to meet these guidelines. For now, there will be no waiting room facility in the studio until any further guidance is updated. Students will queue outside following the two meter markers that will be drawn out for them and will be allowed to enter the studio one by one at their lesson time. Use of hand gel is mandatory on entering the building and hand gel will also be provided in all rooms. The corridor will become part of a one-way system with students who have finished their lessons leaving the lesson room and exiting the building via the fire escape onto Volunteer Street. Changes will be made to which room your lessons will be delivered in to ensure that correct social distancing is met, with even greater space available for singing and saxophone students who will not be able to wear masks while they play. The jam room will not be available for warm-up for students before lessons. We ask that where possible, we continue to keep all payments online. Documents for students will continue to be provided online so that no paper needs to be passed between people. Our air filtering system has now been updated and will now work to pull stale air out of the room above your head to ensure more safety. These measures are required under the guidance for us to keep both you and our team safe. In addition to these steps, we will be increasing our cleaning regime in the studio and Elaine has more information on this. To ensure the highest levels of hygiene, we will be taking the following steps. Before we reopen the studio, we will have a full deep clean. From there, all instruments will be sanitised at the beginning and the end of each teaching day. If a student has used a communal instrument, that will be sanitised at the end of that lesson. High traffic areas such as door handles and light switches will be cleaned regularly throughout the day. Toilets and community areas such as corridors will be cleaned every day and intermittently were needed. Thank you. We know that it's been hard for everyone throughout the last few months and like us, we hope you can't wait to get back to the studio. All students will receive emails tomorrow with all of the details and for more information on how we'll keep you safe, you can visit our website jamstudios.co.uk forward slash jam safely. 
Please remember that our online lesson option is now an ongoing option for lessons and you are under no obligation to return to physical lessons until you wish to do so. All of these measures will be reviewed as we move forward and in line with government advice. Of course, this isn't going to be easy as these are things that none of us have had to try to implement before. So we will need your help. If you have any suggestions of how we can improve this plan or see anything in the studio that we could change, please talk to us and we can get this right together for everyone to enjoy. Thank you and we'll see you on the 16th of June.